everyone! Welcome to my channel! Today, we're unboxing Smart Doll Melody from Culture Japan. I pre-ordered Melody from the official German retailer of Smart Doll, and it looks like they put some extra goodies in the box! There's a folder with art on the front and some pictures of mangas inside. Then we have a cute little card with a picture of Mirai and the retailer's website, animesugoi.d. The reverse has pictures of more merchandise and tells you a tiny bit more about the website. Eep. Let's get this out of the box and take a good look. The canvas bag can be used to carry your smart doll on road trips, on photography trips, and pretty much can be used for anything you like. Let's remove the accessories box and then Melody! Here we go! She's packaged really well in lots of bubbles and there's even a sticker with her name in Japanese and English on the top of her packaging. This bag is really nice so I'm gonna try and fold it up and put it away for later. Now let's get to Melody! It's a good thing no one's trying to sleep in my house, or I think I might wake them up with all this ruckus. She's already looking so cool. I can't wait to get her fully out with her wig and everything on so that we can take a really in-depth look into all of her joints and basically how she works. Let's unpack the accessories. No! There's a little card with a picture of Smart Doll Liberty and with guidelines on the back. Lots of guidelines. We have her telescopic stand. Then we have her wig. Let's begin with the wig. It's packaged in a plastic drawstring bag and the wig has a hairnet to keep it in good condition. The hair is really soft. And now we can remove the tissue paper, keeping the wig from flattening. The hair is a little curled up and we can loosen it by gently running our fingers through the ends and kind of fluffing it. Put 
putting on the wig requires popping off the head. Now I'm not a loon because this is what Danny T recommends for putting on the wig, but it's really scary. And if you don't like doing it, you can try putting on the wig without taking the head off. Putting on the wig was a little difficult, so I had to take a few tries and finally had to put it on off camera. Be absolutely thorough when you put the head back on. When I pop it back on here, it looks good. However, it was pretty loose. I pushed a little more and wiggled it and it went pop onto the neck the rest of the way. These dolls are super poseable. Using just their neck joint alone, they can look to the side and down. Although they do have a chest joint, which allows you to bend them forward to a greater extent. Their chest piece can also move side to side and it might be able to twist a tiny bit. Their arms move out to the side and up and down. Their elbows bend and you can change which direction the elbows bend by grabbing the ball joint and twisting it. Otherwise, their axis of movement will always stay in the same spot. This applies for the wrists too. Their hands alone can twist, but it doesn't change the axis, which changes the direction the hands can bend. Their legs also can go back and forth and a little bit out to the side. Their knees can bend and their ankles can as well. Let's test some poses. The first one I'm going to try is hands behind the head. This one looks pretty good so far. The elbow does stick forward slightly. It's not completely out to the side, but it still looks really good. doll's joints are very stiff. When you put them in a spot, they're most likely not going to move from that spot unless you move them. This is excellent for photography and stop motion when you need them to stay in the same spot. However, it also makes the joints a little bit difficult to manipulate into your pose. Next, we have the telescopic stand. The stand is really nice. It extends to a super long length and is very adjustable for your needs. The stand connects to a hole in her lower back. There's a little ridge on the plug and it has to push in past the ridge or it'll fall out. I speak from experience. <laughs> to get it in, you need to wiggle push, wiggle push, wiggle push, push kind of hard. And you can see I slip a little because I was pushing really hard to get it in that hole. It's fairly easy to take out and you use the same movement. Wiggle push, wiggle, I mean wiggle pull. The stand can be cleverly hidden behind the leg for photography. We'll go over the guidelines in another video since it's a little long to put here. Well, is she worth it? My personal opinion is yes. I have a few things I'd like to do with her, like practice photography, sew clothes, and use her as a model for drawing. These dolls cost about $500 and they take a decent amount of time to ship because they ship from Japan where they're handmade. Danny Chu always says that we need to discourage people from buying. So here goes. Try to hold off from purchasing if you don't need one. It leaves more for the rest of us who do need them. 
If you end up purchasing a cutie, they're good quality. The dolls have a decent weight and smooth skin and lots of joints. Smart dolls seem quite sturdy and their wigs are nice and the attention to detail in the face and for the whole doll is impressive. If you're looking for even more information about smart dolls, look out for a new video that I will be uploading soon, a beginner's guide to Danny Chu's smart doll. Please comment your thoughts, like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Thanks for watching. Bye.